That's how I lost my medical license. Hello, it's Care Brickbot, and I'm kinda in a rut, maybe in a motivational rut, so I'm just kinda doing a filler review just to fill in something. Another first wave metal card bot, Mega Ambler. And uh, I did go for a mid grade, cheaper return product. I'm just kinda cheaping out here. Yeah, somebody put the tape on here, and I guess somebody put some. Additional tape on here like this. I don't know. I don't know if that's a consumer or a warehouse. Yeah, I guess these labels are indicated on the return product, uh, which no, it doesn't cover up the release date of March. Oh no! Just they just returned it. Total waste 180. Waste is total 180. So <laughs> how did they? How did they just force it in there? So that's just a really awkward way and really embarrassing way to pack it. <laughs> yeah, but there's a nice green, minty green in packaging with a spherical hexagon in the background. The recycle shot from these Mega Force tips. Okay, so to unbox this and free him from its awkward torture. How do you do it that way, huh? How do you do it that weirdly? How do you pack it in that weirdly? Well, I did not think that they would be so unprofessional, whoever what sort of kid packed it so unprofessional that they totally forgot the signature metal card. Oh, oh no. This is a very striking and balanced color scheme of white, red, and green. It has a nice Christmassy green paint. A bit of splash of gold. Yeah, I guess the red in the torso, and the legs, the shoulders, and the green striping like that's on the cars and the knees, the crotch area, which is a bit asymmetrical, I mean, slightly different paint wash here. But otherwise, I, I think this is an attractive color scheme. On the pretty similar metal cardboard frame, which is a pretty small torso, not much back cable, and a much of the chunk of it goes to the shoulders. Yeah, that's an aesthetic. Generally, the proportional differences between the animation and toy models just come down to the enlarged torso and head, the somewhat reduced shoulders, the more enhanced arm and knee designs, and of course the pupil. Though both of his legs have these three pen, missile, bullet shaped like things on his legs, while it only has one of the legs, while this one, it looks like it's been smoothed out or these haven't been removed. They kind of look like injections or EpiPens. And coming to the head, that is a smooth cranium with a cross on one side and one antenna and a monocle. Pretty unpainted and the green eye that looks like it kind of bleeds into the painted head crest. It's a pretty small head so it's, you can't get much detail in there but that is sufficient. And the shoulders, you know, these are the vehicle mode eyes, but at least this one looks like some sort of scanner equipment. While this one, this does look like a scanner. You gotta flip that up, and I guess you can also have that. Like a power reader. The legs are nicely filled on both sides. Both sides have a transparent green block with a painted cross and these little vehicle flaps. They have vehicular, vehicular turbines with some screws in them. Not exactly sure why you need to screw these together though, I guess just the, yeah, just the extra solid part so it's not hollowness. And yeah, the back is pretty clean, it's a pretty filled in like with the back here, like separate plastic. The, of course, the not much you can do with the arm hinges here. He has no basic weapons of his own. Only round hand holes, which are not 5mm. Disappointing, what 4mm accessories are you going to plug in there? Articulation, he has a full head swivel. Just a head swivel. Soft, clickety, ratchety shoulders all the way. Limited outward. And then, transformational outward butterfly. That's very awkward, not much you can do there. Like, double jointed elbow. 
from the shoulder to the elbow. No intermediate. Waist swivel. Soft ratchet forward, soft ratchet back, split. Transformational double knees, no thighs, as with most metal card bots. And the double hinge for transformational ab crunch and a back arc. So yeah, that's that at least. Double hinge transformational waist swivel, could you get more dynamic poses? Transformation goes like this. Hand in, hand in. Nice clickities. Then click. Oh yeah, and then the double hinge comes into play in a bit of a the most complex bit. Yeah, I guess I basically flattened that out so like the, the entire pelvic area goes all the way upward like this. Oh yeah, that's it. So it's some sort of futuristic ambulance. An alien ambulance, but still very earthly. Maybe a heavy armored one with these little bolts here. These bolts all the way here. Uh, ignore the obvious robot feet that really don't do anything. No articulation here. And then the green cross comes across here nicely, and the ambulance in... That is a raise, those letters are raised, but that is a thin layer of white paint, so they don't stand out as much. Nice rolly wheels with hidden pins. And then the front is, yeah, obvious bumpers, obvious robot fists that kind of act as a bumper. And then the gold, I assume, with the headlights and the cute little face, the funny little face of the in terms of the metal card bots with the big permanent scanner here and uh, one vehicle eye, of course, as always, not quite accurate to the show. And then a scouter power reader on the eye. Over 9,000! It's also pretty subtle to have the headlights like this. It's kind of really sunken in, so it almost blends in with the rest of the design. Interesting to think about. Very obvious robot legs, especially with the gappiness syndrome. They just had to have that symmetrical detailing there. Yeah, so what you gonna do about it? Maybe slot a metal card in here. Only the card. I guess these holes really are only here just so that they have space for these extra pegs. For some reason. And they are much smaller than the 5mm, so... I don't know what's the purpose of these little round things. That's a necessary detail to add extra accessory holes here. Four round holes, two on each side, which perfectly accommodate... No, not exactly. They're slightly too small for 5mm ports. YMMV with the slightly softer 5mm. I'm assuming it's in the same slightly than standard car size as Blue Cop and Mega Trucker. But if you squint hard enough, I suppose this could fit in with the standard 32 scale. Just slightly wider than the average car. Yeah, I guess you could either pick with go with this scale or this scale, since this is some sort of abstract futuristic vehicle anyway. Yeah, this is a pretty okay metal car bot. It's just a mid-tier, I guess, yeah, just pretty good tier. It does what it does, it transforms. The aesthetics might be something, maybe the aesthetics might be a little too thin or gangly, otherwise it's very nice, very pretty poseable even though without any bicep or thighs. And nice, pretty tall, like, that's pretty smaller size than typical Korean Transformers, like Voyager size if you like that. And the metal cardboard accessories would be pretty good if I had that right now. Yeah, so pretty nice posables. Pretty nice posables too. Yeah, so this is probably not a high tier demand thing. It's just something you can pick up at your own time. And maybe not the most appealing since it's just an ambulance. It's just a unique type of ambulance with a pretty typical Transformer ambulance. Though I guess the most unique thing is like the shoulders, the window shoulders and scouter things. So if you really like this, then that's good. Coupon is pretty good at 
being transparent on what sort of product you get, did you, they even offer a slight discount on return products, so... Yeah, but you better be careful with that, because... I just went for the lowest grade, and I'm missing out on an accessory. Toy customer service usually works by calling the phone and exchanging a totally bonkered up toy for a new one. So, I can't order a replacement card, so I guess I'm gonna get another Mega Ambler. Yeah, Toy Rocks a &S is just a luxury. I mean, there is the best grade, so yeah, that's pretty good, but yeah, anything lower than that, I would be cautious and wary about any missing parts. Next, to round out the emergency metal card box, 